I'm Sparrow. I'm 10 years old, and my favorite Avengers Infinity War character is Thor with Stormbreaker. Hi, I'm Stitch. I'm 8 years old, and my favorite Marvel character from Infinity Wars is Doc Strange. And I'm Tony, their Disney dad. And my favorite Marvel character from Infinity War is Thanos. Welcome to Avengers Infinity War Disney Discussions. Aloha! Aloha. Okay, wait. I just want to say something. Okay. If you haven't seen Avengers Infinity War, stop listening to this. Yes. Okay, I'll stop. (laughs) We are going to spoil the movie. Yeah. So if you haven't seen Avengers Infinity War... Don't watch it. Here's our suggestion. Go see it. It's a really good movie. Now stop listening. Go see the movie. (laughs) And then listen to this. this. Yeah. So welcome to a special episode of Disney Disney Discussions, Discussions. where we talk about Avengers Infinity Infinity War. War. So me and Sparrow have seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Stitch has not. I think it's a little too intense for Stitch. It's more intense than other. There's also, there are, there is some bad language in it, but it's, you know, Mm -hmm. not, not terrible language. No, no, not terrible. Not the really bad words, but there are some bad words, so so it's up to your discretion. But uh, what do you think, Sparrow? (laughs) Off the bat, what what, what did you think? Best Marvel movie of all time. Okay, so you really enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. It beat it beat Winter Soldier for me. Yeah, I I really liked it too. I didn't think they'd be able yeah. to Do it have with all, all these characters. I didn't think they'd be able to have all these yeah. characters and still have a good yeah. movie. But they yeah. did a really good job with it's it. Amazing. I hear it didn't have Ant Man. That's right. Ant Man yeah, and Hawkeye were not Hawkeye, in it. Yeah. But they kind of why, explain why that. Why not Hawkeye? Good. That's why you're here to ask yes. questions, right? Yes, you are. So they're <laughs> under house arrest after yeah. Civil War. So they are, yeah, meaning like they don't go to jail, but they can't leave their house and do superhero stuff. So they cut a deal with the government saying, oh, wait, we won't do superhero stuff anymore, but they have to stay in their house. That's why they're not in it. And if you notice in the Ant-Man and Watch trailer, the first one, he had that bracelet on, on an anklet, on his ankle. That that means they're tracking, they were tracking him so he couldn't leave the house. So he cut a deal with the government. So first of all, let's go over this movie made... Lots and lots of money. Lots. So it beat Force Awakens in the opening weekend. It made $258.2 million Mm -hmm. in three days. Uh, Force Awakens did 240, I think. So beat that away. Mm -hmm. It also made uh, over 382 million opening weekend worldwide. Whoa. For, uh, uh, yeah, internationally, for a total of 640 million dollars in one weekend. That is crazy. That is crazy. Um, and they're projecting, we're recording this on May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, May the 4th be with you. <laughs> well, we're talking about Avengers. I can't um, believe we're talking about Avengers on Star Wars. <laughs> but um, they're saying it's going to cross $1 billion worldwide uh, either today or tomorrow. 10th or 11th, Whoa. which is the That's fastest crazy. the movie has ever made wow. that much money. So That's this movie's crazy. doing really, really well. It's doing really good, at, and it's probably um, going to make a lot of money, and they're, they might make like an, like an Avengers like this with Thanos and the other Avengers that are left trying to get the Infinity Stones that's back what's, or something. That's right, what we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to four. I don't want to talk about four just yet, okay? Okay. Yeah. But yeah, they, they already made that movie. They filmed yeah. it at the same time. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they filmed two movies at the same time. So, so some people the in the act- movie theater, when I saw it the first time, didn't know this. Yeah. And they were watching the movie, and we'll get into the ending and everything, but they were crying, sobbing. like, And I guess uh, even uh, Jason, who I saw with, didn't realize they were making another movie. So That's funny. Yeah. All right. So let's... Uh, you want to get in the movie? Yeah, let's get into we're not gonna go. We're not going to go over everything, but we'll go uh, kind of give you an overview of what happened in the movie, our favorite parts. This was a really funny movie. They did it a great job with the funny. humor, which they do with, with all the Marvel movies. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it starts off with... You see Thanos and his weird guy and like all the Asgardians. Right. Dead. So at the, if you remember at the end of Thor Ragnarok, yeah, they had a big, which you guys didn't see, but they had a big ship come up um, in front of the Asgard ship, Asgardian ship. And I thought... Um, that it was Thanos' ship, and it yeah, was right. Yeah. Because you see a bunch of dead Asgardians. And then Thor is beaten up. Yeah. Got. And then you see just see like Loki. Then <laughs> you just see like Loki walking up to Thanos, and uh, um, with the um, 
uh, Tesseract, and then he handed it to him, and I thought this was pretty funny, because, like, I was just thinking in my head what Loki would be thinking. Thanos just crushes it. Loki's like, all that hard work to get that, and you destroy it? <laughs> <laughs> right. So he's looking, Thanos is looking for yeah, yeah, yeah. the Tesseract. He, uh, Thanos mentioned he got the, um, the stone from yes. uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 yeah. from Xandar, so he destroyed that planet. And then uh, he's looking for the Tesseract. Thor's like, we don't have it. That was destroyed in Asgard. And Loki goes, and Loki uh, well, actually, it here it is. <laughs> but Thanos kills Loki. Kills Loki. So I think Lo- Loki is dead. And then, For good. So I thought this was cool. Because remember in the first Avengers, yeah. uh, Loki and Tony Stark are talking. Mm-hmm. And Tony Stark goes, well, we have a Hulk. Yeah. Well, Loki says that to Thanos yeah. and Thanos uh, gets punched by the Hulk and then the Hulk gets beat up really bad by Thanos yep and so Heimdall is there yes and he uses one last ounce of his power to send Hulk to Earth, to Earth. and then Thanos kills Heimdall yeah right yeah 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 well wasn't it like one of Thanos' minions or something oh yeah you're right like, so he has he his stabbed him yeah he has, he has like, his he has like this big Bulky guy. Yeah, he has this bl- black order, yeah, I think yeah. it's called. Yeah. So they're his minions, and he tells, all right, there's three stones on Earth. Yes. And he sends his minions to it. To get him. But Heindall sends Hulk, and he crashes through Doctor Strange's Strange place. Sanctum. Yeah. Oh, and then um, Doctor Strange and Wong are talking about it, uh, talking about like getting meat from the deli, and then Hulk just goes, Poof, yep, right straight there. Straight through. Thanos is coming. And then Hero? they do the yeah, <laughs> then they do the Infinity War. Logo, Logo, and then you meet Tony Stark, Stark yeah. um, and he's talking Pepper Potts, so they're a gauge, which we saw yeah, at the end of yeah. Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, so, and then Doctor Strange just comes through a portal, and he's like, oh, congratulations about the winning. He walks through, and he's like, Tony, we need your help. Oh, and uh, cra- congratulations on the wedding. Yeah. And then you see, uh, while they're talking, figure out who Thanos is, yeah. you know, Bruce Banner tells them, we'll just get the Avengers together, and Iron Man's like, Tony's uh... Like, uh we kind of broke up. Uh, we kind of broke up. Like the like Beatles? The Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Um, a lot of I like the interplay between Doctor Strange and Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. So then this big circle spaceship, which we saw in the trailer, comes mm-hmm. trying to get the Infinity oh, Stone. That, that, that's a spaceship? Yeah. Yes. Trying yes. to get the Infinity Stone that Doctor Strange has, the Time yeah. Stone. And in the eye of Hockey Mulder. Yeah. So there's <laughs> two minions from Thanos, Thanos. Iron Man, Wong, Doctor Strange. Um, there. Are, I just remember they're called the... Sons of Thanos or something. Something like the that, The children yeah. of Thanos. So Wong, Doctor Strange, Strange Iron Man, Man, Bruce Banner, Banner. and then Spider-Man Banner comes, and comes. They, they fight the guys. And uh, oh. this was funny. You want to tell the part about Bruce Banner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, um, Bruce Banner wanted the Hulk to come out. He just bent back, and you saw some green, and then he, it didn't come. And Doctor Strange is like, what are you doing? And then he's like, uh, I don't know. And then he got blasted into a tree. And then you saw just half of his face, the Hulk. And Bruce Banner said, come out, buddy. And the Hulk's like, no. Yeah, so that's a big tease. In the trailers, they had a couple scenes. Scenes with Hulk in it, yeah. And so that was made up for the trailer. That didn't happen in the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't. I think Hulk doesn't want to come out because that's the first time Hulk has really gotten beaten, and he's afraid. Hulk yes. is afraid. Yes. So he won't come out. So Bruce Banner's Bruce Banner's the whole time. Yeah. So then they get caught on the spaceship. spaceship. Spider Man gets his new suit, suit. and oh, they go to awesome. yeah, it's a really cool it's suit. So they're on the ship for a while. They torture Doctor Strange to get his stone. Stone. Yep. Stone. And then uh, two more of Thanos' minions, minions go. They go, They find the Vision. Oh, and they yeah. attack the Vision and Scarlet Witch because they're together and they're in love. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then that, that's when we... So they start in a fight and that's when we meet Captain America yes. and Black Widow and was, Falcon comes. That was a cool scene. Yeah, that was really cool. Captain America steps out of the shadows. And, and they're kind of... Bing. They're kind of... There was a comic book called Secret Avengers uh-huh. where Avengers did like secret missions and I think that's cool. what they were... Because they kind of mentioned they were still going on missions uh-huh. during the two years since Civil War but they were oh, doing it wow. on their own. So, like, they basically teamed up together to form their own Avengers? Yeah, they're their own secret Avengers. Avengers. Yep. Cool. They, yeah. So, Vision gets stabbed, and he's hurt, but they protect him. So, they beat uh, a girl and the guy that Thanos' minions, and then they go to Avengers base where um, War Machine is at Avengers headquarters, and they're talking to Thunderbolt Ross, and they turn him off. (laughs) Um, And then... You know, they're trying to figure out what to do. Yeah. And that's when they go to Wakanda. Wakanda. Right. That was cool. Yeah. The entire Wakanda storyline. Yeah. We started to go scene by scene. I don't think we're going to do that anymore. 
No. Do you want to go keep going scene by scene? No. Okay. So, Sparrow. Yes. What were some of your favorite parts? So, my favorite parts, I like the entire thing where Thanos goes to get, I forget what stone it is, but then Red Skull appears. That's a soul stone. Yeah, yeah. the soul stone. That was really cool. Oh, man. Thanos had to kill Gamora. I think Gamora's gone. Like, she's you think she's dead? Back. I think she might be in the... Well, we'll get to that in the end. So, the, yeah. So, the big death yeah. here before the final battle were um, Heindal, yes. Loki, Loki, and Gamora, Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. So, they, they kind of split all these superheroes up. Yeah. So, you have uh, Doctor Strange, Strange Iron, Iron Man, Man Spider-Man together, together. On, on a ship. And then you have um, Captain America, War Machine, Vision... Vision. Vision. Scarlet Witch, Black Widow, and Falcon. And right, and, and they go to Wakanda, so they meet yeah. up with Black Panther, and then and Bucky's the, there somehow. Yeah, and Bucky oh, has yeah. been in Wakanda since the end of Winter Soldier. He gets a new arm, and then yeah, he gets a new <laughs> arm. They get ready for battle, and then you have the Guardians of the Galaxy yes. with Thor because they meet up. They find they hear the distress signal, signal. from the ship, yeah. so they find Thor. Uh, oh, that um, here's another one of my favorite scenes. Yeah. where Thor just flies onto the windshield and Rocket's like, "Turn the windshield wipers on! Turn the windshield yeah. wipers!" I love um, Thor calls Rocket Rabbit, Rabbit the whole yeah. movie, and it's funny every time he does it. He, it must have been like five or six times that he calls him Rabbit, He's and it's like, funny every time. Thank you, Rabbit. Yeah. So, um, and and then a lot of the movie is Thanos getting the other gems. The other stones, yeah. Yeah, so he has one at the beginning of the movie, and then he slowly collects them, and the big one he wants, he needs to get is Vision's stone. Vision stone. So they're working on trying to destroy Vision's Vision stone. stone. Um the Avengers are trying to destroy it without destroying Vision. They don't want to kill yeah. Vision in the process. So they know Wakanda has good technology to do that. To do it, yeah. Yep. So they take him to Wakanda. Yep. And and they, uh, well, we'll get to the very end in a little bit. Yeah. But Thor and Rocket and Groot, who's teenage uh-huh. Groot, no, and he plays a video game the whole time. The time. No. Thor Rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they go to this place where they have to create a new, new um, weapon for Thor. Right. It, it's like Stormbreaker, right? They call it Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker. So it's like an axe. And there's a whole scene there. It's a really cool scene. I really yeah, like it. And yeah. the, the guy from Elf. Um, you're an angry little elf, the aren't you? Elf is in it. <laughs> He's in there as a dwarf, but like a uh, uh, huge dwarf. Not <laughs> it's really hard a dwarf. to explain, yeah. Um, <laughs> but he makes. Uh, he, Thor and Groot and Rocket help them make the weapon, Rocket, and they actually yeah. use part of Groot's arm for the handle, yeah, which is yeah. kind of neat. It was funny. It's funny. So, Elf, he's small, and in this movie, he's huge. Yes. Yeah. And it was funny. Um, That's the one time I think Groot threw down his video game in the yeah. movie. Yeah. He just threw it down and used his arm. Yep. So, a big battle happens in Wakanda. Yes. That's towards the end of the movie. So, they destroy Vision, Vision Stone. Stone. Like, Scarlet Witch is able to do it. Yeah. But Thanos uses the time stone to bring it back. That's right. Because he goes like, thing, yep. there's vision. So he gets the thing, he snaps his fingers, and then Ooh. half. Oh, wait, so wait, Thanos wait, is whole. Something. Go ahead. Thor runs at Thanos, hits him with um, Stormbreaker, and Th- Thor thinks he defeated Thanos. And then Thanos like, you should have gone for the head. Yep. Snap. Snaps his finger. <laughs> Half destroys the right half now. the universe and then steps back into a portal and disappears. And I was like, where's he gone? But as that's happening, superheroes yeah. and even people on the earth are starting so to turn to ash finish. and disappear. So, and meanwhile, um, Iron Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, Doctor Strange, and Spider-Man are on another planet well, where they were fighting Thanos. With Nebula, too. Right, Nebula, too. Nebula was on there. Right. So they're stuck on a planet. So a lot... Fighting Thanos. What? Fighting Thanos. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot... Of superheroes die in that process of Thanos snapping his fingers. Yes. And but, that's when Doctor Strange dies, I think. Yep. He turns to Ash. But well we'll get to my we'll get to our theories, theories about later. Avengers Four at the Wait end. So Doctor Strange disappears. Yeah. All of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxy disappear, disappear except for Rocket. Rocket. Right? Oh but I'm excited about Groot. Yeah. Um Oh, that's another so time he threw down his video game. Yeah. When he finished. Spider Man disappeared. I think that was the saddest one. Yeah. Because he was like, Tony yeah. Stark was with him, and he's like, I don't want to go. Mr. Stark, I don't want to go. <laughs> yeah. No, he was like the 10th doctor. I don't yeah. want to go. I yeah. don't want to go. Um, so it's Iron Man and Nebula stuck on that planet. Planet together, right? yeah. And then back in Wakanda, Black yeah. Panther disappears. Wait, how do they vanish? They turn to they ash. They turn to ash. Um, so. How? They just. Because Thanos snapped his fingers. fingers. Half the universe got That was the whole point. So the whole point Thanos wants 
to get the Infinity um, Stones mm -hmm. is to wipe out half the population of the universe because he feels it's overcrowded and that people would live better if half the people die. That's weird. It's weird, but it kind of makes sense. The one thing I really liked about this movie... What? Is Thanos. Yes. They did a really good they job of making job. of making him a good character. Yeah. That you yeah. Um, believe what he's doing. He's not just this one-note villain who just wants to take over the universe. Like, yeah. he has reasons why he wants yeah. to do. You show that he actually loves Gamora, his mm, daughter. Yeah. Even though he sacrifices her to get the gem. Stone. What did I say? Gem. Oh, you know why I say gem? Why? Because it's gem in the comic books. Oh. Yeah. That's why I get confused. So, it's like infinity gem? Yeah. So, weird. so... Let's go over who's left at the okay. end of the movie. Um, so we have Captain America, uh -huh. War Machine, uh -huh. um, Scarlet. No, not Scarlet Witch. Nope. Um, Rocket. Black, yep. Black Widow. Black Widow. Iron Man is Iron left. Iron Man. Nebula. Nebula. Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner. Some Thor. Thor. Definitely right? Thor. That's yeah. about it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like Avengers. That's it. Yeah. Superheroes and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. So, and, oh, I forgot to mention, in the battle, it's actually Bruce Banner in, in the, the Hulkbuster Hulk armor, which is pretty funny. They have a funny oh, scene. Go ahead. Where he falls yeah. over in the Hulkbuster armor. Yeah, like so he's, he's running. running. Yeah. And then he just go poof, 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 and starts rolling down the hill. Oh, and then there's this other scene where Bruce Banner's fighting some of Thanos' minions, and then one of the minions pulls off his arm, and then he, um... The Hulkbuster Bruce arm. Ban the Hulkbuster arm, and... He just picks up his arm and starts whacking the guys with yeah. his arm. And that was funny. And then the one part that I didn't really... So he really basically li helped him by ripping off his arm. Yeah. So the part I didn't really like that looked kind of weird is when the helmet was off of the um, Hulkbuster and it, you just saw Bruce Banner's head. It yeah. looked so weird. That was the one time in the movie where the CGI, CGI was, was off. off. Like off. having a human head on that robot, robot. The, the Hulkbuster, it looked yeah. really, it looked really yeah. strange. It looked strange when that happened. Yeah, but everything else, the CGI was amazing. Like, Thanos was amazing. Was amazing. Yeah. This is a really good movie. Would You you would yeah. recommend it. I would definitely recommend yeah. it. The fight scenes are amazing. It's a two and a half hour movie, so yeah. it's long, but not once did I look at my watch and think, oh, this is going <laughs> too is long. Over? Right? It went by so fast. Yeah. So, yeah, so you mentioned the Red Skull makes a cameo appearance that here. That so cool. That was really cool. I'm I don't. I wasn't expecting wait, that. I'm guessing this soul stone is red? No. It's red. orange, I think, actually, right? Yes. Oh, I thought it'd be red because of Red, red Skull. skull. Yeah. Well, that's where actually Red Skull got banned to when he was holding the Tesseract. Yeah, so I thought that was cool because that's always been a question people had. Like, like where did Red Skull Yeah, Red go? Skull didn't die. He, like, he went through that portal, portal when he touched the cosmic cube. Well, that, that's what they call it in the comic book, but the Tesseract. And so everyone was, like, everyone was wondering where Ooh. Red Skull was. So now we know he was stuck being the protector of the Soul Stone. Yeah. Oh, oh. and there's... um. That's actually not the original actor of Red Skull. He didn't yeah, want to come it was back. somebody else. But I'm, I'm glad they did. That's why a lot of people didn't think he was going to be in the movie Red Skull. Because yeah. the original actor didn't want to do it. So I'm glad they got somebody else to do it. And you can't even really tell, did I don't he think. Talk? No. Yeah. No, yes. yeah. Yeah. He talked. Did it he sounded. Sound? Yeah, he sounded just like Red Skull to me. He had a pretty good part in that scene, too. Yeah. Like, it was. Yeah. Was, it was he fighting Thanos, actually? No. 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 He told Thanos that he has to give up what he loves the most. Yes. And he had Gamora with him. And Gamora started laughing and says, You don't love anything. And then she realizes that Thanos actually loves her, so he, Thanos, throws Gamora off the cliff, and she dies. Yeah. So oh. the movie ends on a very sad note. Most of the um, Marvel Universe is gone, right? You have the original Avengers are still there, yes. and some other people. Some of, some of the original um, Avengers. Yeah. So very, it's a very similar to Empire Strikes Back Basically. kind of movie, where like the heroes kind of lost. They don't know what to do. Um, that... So uh, you mean like when they just start turning ashes, like d um, just part of their body starts turning to ashes slowly? Yeah. Some of them. Just... Some of them disappeared quickly. Some okay. of them were more slow. Oh, right? and I think the first one to disappear was like Bucky or something, right? Wasn't it like Bucky? I no, don't Bucky. remember. I think Bucky survived. No, Bucky no. didn't survive. Oh. No, Bucky turned to ash too. But some good scenes in this movie. I liked yes. um, Spider-Man was really cool with the new suit. Um, I liked he was trying to save the Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. but he didn't. It's like he was webbing them. They were flying through the air because of Thanos, and he's webbing them up. He's like, I got you. I got you. I'm sorry. I don't remember any of your names. <laughs> yeah. What else? What else did you like that was? Oh, I also like the scene where Thanos got the, was it the reality stone? And um, Gamora told um, Star-Lord to shoot anything um, in any circumstance. He shot her. Bubbles 
Oh, yeah. Out of the gun. Yeah. Oh, and then the part where um, Starlin and Gamora are just having this really deep conversation, and then you just see Drax eating a nut. Oh, yeah. That, just, oh, that was really funny. <laughs> Drax, how long have you been standing there? About an hour. <laughs> what? I, I can move so slowly, I make myself invisible. Watch. We could see you. No, oh, I'm then, pretty sure I'm invisible. And then Mantis <laughs> walks by. I Drax. Yeah, and then he gets upset. He's like, ugh. So really, so they they did do a good job with getting yes. everybody in the movie. Yes. Uh, the Stan Lee cameo was good. He was oh, the bus was driver funny. for Spider Man. Like, so like, um, uh, Spider Man's friend Ned was like, "Guys, there's a spaceship. We're gonna all die!" And they're all like, "What? A spaceship?" And Stan Lee's like, "You haven't seen a spaceship before." <laughs> yeah. What? You never seen a spaceship, spaceship? before? Dead. <laughs> yeah. Did Ned die? No. To- oh, he didn't turn out. They didn't show it. Maybe he did. I don't know. If he didn't, it must have been very sad for him to find out that Peter... Well, they don't know, because Peter was actually on another planet when yeah. it happened. Yeah. Oh, he was yeah. on another planet. Yeah. With Mr. Stark. Yeah. Uh, you get a flashback on how yes. uh, Thanos gets Gamora, Gamora, adopts her, which is interesting. Uh, some really good stuff. Yeah. They did a great... Like I keep saying, they did a great job. Yeah. I When the Avengers first came out, the first Avengers... I thought it'd be, well, they're going to have a hard time doing a movie with all these different characters, <laughs> like five or six different characters. How are they going to do it? And now here's a movie with like 60 characters in it, like you know, and they do a great job. It's amazing. Yeah. They don't go too quickly. They let everyone yes. have their time. Although I do wish Captain America and run. Black Widow had a little more to say, but I think in the next movie they'll have more to do since yes. everyone else disappeared. I wish Bucky was in it more too because he's one yeah. of my favorite characters. Yeah, that'd be cool. So... Let's do the end credits scene, okay. and then we'll go into our theories about Avengers Wait, 4. Out of the people who vanished, I know who you're going to say, though. Who is your favorite? That Out of who vanished? Yeah. Um, either Bucky or Doc Strange. No, who out of who didn't vanish, I meant. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, Captain America. Knew it. Yeah. Dad? Captain America. Yeah. But I really liked Iron Man in this movie, too. Yeah. He was really good. Oh, um, Iron you Man Can you remind almost... me the ones that didn't vanish? So it's all the original Avengers. So you have Bruce Banner, Black Widow, oh. Thor, oh. Captain America, Iron Man. Uh, you have uh, War Machine still machine. there, Nebula, Maybe. the woman rocket. rocket, the woman guard from Black Panther. Yes. I forget her name right now. Anybody else? No. Yeah, I think that's everybody. And then you have Ant-Man and Hawkeye, which I don't think they disappeared. I think no. they'll make yeah, an appearance. So. Um, okay, so the end credits well, scene. Yeah, Go ahead. They, of course they didn't, because um, Ant-Man... No, Ant Man and the Wasp, I think, takes place before, before. Infinity War. Oh. I think. I thought yeah, it took place after. No, I think it's before. I just have one thing to say. Yeah. Tony Stark almost died. Yeah. Yes. How? Actually, must- yeah, that's that's the thing. So, well, I want to get into that when we get to theories. Okay. We'll yeah, talk yeah, yeah. about okay, that scene yeah. when we get to theories because that yeah. ties into my theory about Avengers Four. Okay. okay. All right. So the end credit scene. It was. It was. Wanna, it here. was good. Go ahead. So Nick Fury and Maria Hill were just driving in a car. And then all of a sudden there was this car flying everywhere. They um they both got out and they looked in the car. No one was there, obviously, because the person in the car disappeared. Yep. And then Maria Hill starts disappearing. Nick Fury pulls out this weird device pager. Thing, That's a pager, yeah. Pager, and then he sends something to someone, and then he disappears. And then it says Sandy, and then it shows Captain Marvel. Yeah. It shows the Captain Marvel, Marvel logo, logo on the on the pager. So it's an old pager like from the yeah. late 90s, early 2000s. But yeah, you see it says sending, 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 and then the Captain Marvel logo comes yeah. up. So he's contacting, contacting Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. So we have two movies coming out, one this year. We have Ant-Man and the Wasp coming out July. Yeah. I think that movie takes place before Avengers right. Infinity, War, Infinity War, and it might lead right up to uh, Infinity War. I might see somebody like Hank see. Pym might disappear. Maybe the Wasp mm-hmm. disappears. I don't know. Um and then we have Captain Marvel comes but out. Yeah, because if it takes place before, you would know if someone disappeared in the Ant Man and the Wasp right. movie. And then yeah. we have Captain Marvel comes out early next year, I think mm-hmm. March, March, I think. And that takes place in the 90s, they said. Okay. So we have. Got- so my theory is that the end credit scene in that will be Captain Marvel receiving the message and going to help the Avengers yeah, in that Avengers sounds about 4. Right. Yeah. So Captain Marvel is probably going to play a big yeah. part in Avengers So 4. Captain Marvel takes place in the 90s. Avengers. You have a young um, Agent Coulson, they so, said. You have a young Nick Fury. Fury. You have the bad guy from Guardians 1 is going to be in it. Oh, that um, Yeah, even the guy that hunted Star-Lord in the very beginning, he's going to oh, be really? in it too. And Ronan, 
right? Was the bad guy's name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to be in it. So that'll be interesting to yeah, see kind of a 1990s version of the Marvel Universe. I hope Peggy Carter's in it, too. That yeah, would be cool. That would be nice. Um, but then, for some reason, she's been gone all this time. Like, she wasn't around for the first Avengers. Yeah. So there must have been a reason where why she uh, disappeared, where she's going. But I think yeah. you're right. Probably if one of the end credits of Miss Marvel, uh, sorry, uh, Captain Marvel, is uh, her receiving that page of that. And yeah. Then going. To help the Avengers. So Nick Fury disappeared too. Yes. Did we mention that? Okay. Yeah. So they filmed Avengers 3 and Avengers 4, 4 together. together. They have not announced the title for Avengers 4 yet. Originally it was Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2. That just sounds but, dumb. Though. Yeah, they took that away and they're not announcing the name for Infinity War uh, Avengers Part 4. What do you think the name's going to be? So I either think end times because that's what dr strange said end game he said i think end right? game yeah or end times okay like avengers end times or avengers end game that's good um it could be um like like maybe if thanos did something maybe a little wrong and like everybody's gonna disappear yeah we'll talk in, we'll talk about theories no, about no, four, no, but, but what what no, but don't no, but this also ties in with my title okay um i think since like everybody could go go away, it that means it could be Avengers. The end is near. The end is near. That's a good one. Like everybody's gonna disappear. They yeah. have to defeat the. They like, did disappear. No, no, no. I mean, like everybody in the whole world. Oh, everybody. Okay. Okay. So, so and then I think. Awesome. Wait, wait, hold on. I think Endgame is probably the Endgame. the title too, and For because Endgame. because Doctor Strange mentioned it, he said we're in the end game now. Right. And the reason why he did that, so there was a whole scene where Doctor Strange looks at all the possible outcomes of the fight. Oh, and it was funny because yeah. Doctor Strange's head was going crazy, and Mitch is like, is your friend supposed to do that? <laughs> yeah, and, and then, he- yeah, Tony Stark goes, are you okay? He's like, I looked into the future and found every possible outcome and see how okay. we could win, right? He said there were, f- he looked at like 4,000 something no, outcomes. millions. Millions, yeah. yeah. And Tony Stark's, how many did we win? Doctor Strange's like, one. One, <laughs> right. And they make One. a point early in the movie, Doctor Strange tells Tony Stark, if it comes between you and Spider-Man or the Time Stone, I'm going to save the Time Stone and let you guys die. But <laughs> we see at the end of the movie where Thanos is about to kill Tony Stark. And I thought he might might have actually died in that. Yeah. I, I expected him to die. Like that, That's how it's going to go. But then you see Doctor Strange go, no, no, I'll give you the Time Stone if you let him live. And so that's how Thanos gets the time stone. Stone, yeah. Right? So I think Doctor Strange saw that one future where they win, and Tony Stark needs to be alive for that somehow. So that's why he traded the time stone for Tony Stark. Hmm. Now I think... Are we in theories? Yeah, yes. we're in theories. Good. So I think the people that disappeared... That was how Tony Stark almost died? Yes. Okay. He got stabbed, but and then Thanos was going to kill him. So I think... All the people that disappeared, mm-hmm. not the people that died in the beginning. Like, I think um, Heindall and Loki, Loki. are dead. dead. But I think all the people that disappeared uh-huh. are in the Soul Stone. Yes. And in what's called Soul World. And that's actually what happened in the comic books, too. And I think Gamora's there, too. Because Thanos had to trade Gamora for the Soul Stone. So I think Gamora... Because at the end, when Thanos snaps his fingers... He wakes up you see him and he in sees, some place and yeah, young Gamora's there. right. And if you look, the the sky's like orange, just yeah. like the s- stone. So I think they're in the Soul Stone. So the part mm-hmm. of Avengers Four is going to also, and Dinga Spring has brought this up. Yeah, when they make Thor's weapon, that dwarf made the gauntlet for Thanos to put yeah. the stones on, and you see the cast for that gauntlet. Mm-hmm. So they have a way to make another gauntlet, gauntlet. if they want to. So I think. You'll have um, the characters that are left. Avengers 4 will be characters that are left on Earth or mm-hmm. in this universe yeah. trying to make a gauntlet and maybe find Thanos and do some stuff. And then you also have the heroes in the soul world so still, trying to, to, get to, to, to get out. Yeah, And somehow the two come together. Captain Mark, maybe Captain Marvel's able to, to find them something. and go in the soul stone or something. I don't know the specifics. but Will they die if they destroy the soul stone? I don't know. No, I but think that could be a way to get them out. Destroy the soul, soul stone, destroy some world. Maybe everybody's free. Or maybe that's how they actually die. Is if you destroy the soul, soul, soul you know stone. What? Or what soul happened world. though? It would be hard to get because Thanos has it. Yeah. Yep. 
Well, yeah. I think Thanos is in the Soul Stone, too. So then that would be even harder to Maybe. get the Infinity yeah. Gauntlet. I don't know. We'll see. No, so, so do you have any other theories, Sparrow? My theory is because um, Vision got killed because the yeah. thing is that I think they're going to save Scarlet Witch. Because if Scarlet Witch can destroy an Infinity Stone, I think they're going to find some alternate source of power that Scarlet Witch can do to save Vision. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that's just my theory yep. about bringing back Vision. That's good. Um, I, I th- went to you said... Um, they tried to destroy, um... Vision Stone. Dis- Vision Stone without killing him. I thought that Scarlet Witch could do it, because she did the same thing with, um, basically Ultron. Yeah. She, she was did. trying to do it, she just didn't do it in time, time, right? Yeah. Well, actually, she did do it. She did. But then Thanos used the Time, time stone, stone to reverse time and, and get to it before. So she actually did destroy it. Yeah. But then it came back. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Yeah. So I do think... Some Avengers will actually die in the next one. Yes. Um, they've already announced Spider-Man 2. Two. So, so I don't think Spider-Man's going to be permanently dead. Um, um, Black Panther did really well, so they're not so going to kill back no. Black Panther permanently. Guardi- Guardians are go- Some of the Guardians are going to come back. Yeah. Star Wars are going to yeah. come back. I think it is possible that Captain America dies, <gasps> and Bucky or Falcon take over for Captain America. I'm fine if Bucky takes over, because I mean, that's my second favorite yeah. character taking place in my favorite, yep. so... I think Iron Iron Man could die. Well, didn't they just renew Robert Downey Jr.'s contract? No, no. He just he does he agrees to each movie now, so I think oh. he could be done, or he could he might not be. So we'll have to see. So what's nice is with Empire Strikes Back when that came out, mm-hmm. we had to wait three years before the next movie. But this we only have to wait one year. It actually what? come out this weekend, next year. Oh really? Yep. Yep. Oh. So we only have to wait one year. That's, well, that's a pretty good cool. deal, right? So I mean, out of no, they might um, change the, the dates again. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm very sad right now. Why? They already killed most of my favorite characters, and if they kill more in the next movie, I'm not gonna be happy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, some of your favorite yeah. characters that died in this one will come back, I think. Like Spider-Man, he's Spider-Man favorite, definitely right? is gonna come back. He's gonna come back. Doctor Strange. I think he's gonna come back too. Yeah, I think they're gonna have. Okay, a those Strange are my too. two favorite that died basically. Yeah. Okay. Actually I have a feeling they're oh, going to do more Andrew, with Andrew, Doctor Anger. I hope Andrew. he comes back with more with Doctor Strange because the way they ended the first movie with Mordo right. King, so that's going to be like Doctor Strange yeah. or something. Yeah. All right. Cool. So out of ten stars, or you want to do five stars? What do you want to do? I don't care. <laughs> ten with ten being the worst. No, the best. How, what would you rate it? Five hundred sixty-three million. <laughs> so you really liked it. Yes. I really liked it too. I really really liked uh, it. Where does it rate on your list? On my list, I keep going back and forth, but I think it's number one on my list. Yeah, of all the one. the Marvel movies, all 19 Marvel movies, wow. Infinity War is number one. It's a tie between uh, Winter Soldier and Infinity War. Same. Well, I'm, but I what, think I like Infinity War a little bit more. Infinity War just crushed my, um, crushed in uh, Winter Soldier for me. Yeah. But Winter Soldier is still number two on my list. Okay. Um, I don't know yet. Yeah. I don't know. I you haven't, haven't seen, seen it yet. A great movie. Go out and see it. Definitely. If you haven't, you might be a little confused if you haven't seen the other Marvel movies. Yeah. Um, but I don't think you need to see them all. I think if you see just the Avengers movies, um, Avengers 1, one, Age of Ultron, Ultron, and then maybe Civil War. Well, okay. And then this and one, you'd be good. Like Doctor Strange, it's better. Maybe, I, I don't think... to understand the backstory of the characters. I don't think you need to see Doctor Strange to see this movie. Okay, but Spider-Man Homecoming, maybe. I would recommend Spider-Man, Spider-Man Homecoming, Homecoming anyway, because... if it was a good movie. Yeah. But yeah, if you want to understand. But I think, um, to slim it down, I think Avengers 1, Age of Ultron, Civil War, and then this movie. Yeah. But I, I mean, I recommend all the movies. They're all pretty good. Beside Thor 1 and Hulk. Yeah, that's <laughs> the bottom of my list there. So we have Ant-Man and the Wasp coming out July 6th, Six. which will be awesome. And Obviously. then, yeah, so <laughs> next year we have three more Marvel movies. Yeah. Uh, they're doing three a year now. So we have Captain Marvel, um, I think, in March. March. Uh, Avengers four in May, May and then Spider Man two. two sometime in the year. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm wondering though if Spider Man two actually takes place before Avengers three and four. I think it might. I don't know. I think they might do that, or it could take place after. It four. could. I don't. I'm not. I'm just not sure. Yeah. But with it coming out next year, right after Avengers four, they could make it. A prequel before, or yes. it's or it does take place right after. after. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. Any other thoughts or questions about Avengers: Infinity War? 
No. Well, here's a question. Out of all the people that vanished, who do you think is going to come back? Who do I think is going to come back? Okay, so it's Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, yeah. Bucky, no, I don't know. Falcon, Defin- probably, think definitely Falcon. Falcon. Back? Yeah. Uh, who do you think is not going to come back? Let's okay, that. so um, um, I'm sad to say this, but I think Bucky might not come back. You think so? I, I think, think he will. They, uh, I'm trying to think. Well, okay. He is. Um, I think he yeah. is. Star Wars is definitely going to come back. Groot's going to come back. Drax all, is going to come back. Yeah, out of all all right. of I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. It's hard to say. Mantis is going to come back. Out of all the funny things Star Lord ever did, now they have to get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to come, 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 come back. He's going to come back. He's going to come back. They have to get rid of him for like ha- almost half a movie, maybe? For Avengers 4. Like, you know. Like all the Maybe I, th- I do that think vanished are not going to be in for half yeah. I think in Avengers four you're going to have a good amount of time. time. Like the, maybe even the first half of the movie, they're not even going to. You're going to think those people are gone. Yeah. And then they'll and then. somehow bring them in. Because I'm glad because they needed more time with Captain America. Yeah. In this movie, all right. It'd be cool how they bring them in. The ashes just form back into. Yeah, we'll have to see. People. It'll be weird. Like they all like they're all left Wakanda, and then all of a sudden you just see. Um, Scarlet Witch, Falcon, and Bucky just pop up yeah. out of the ground. Well, if they get the Time Stone, they could do that, right? They could reverse everything. Yeah. Well, All right, that's it no, for the can, spoiler. Wait, go ahead. No, they could reverse time? Thor's like, oh, right. He said go for the head. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for the spoiler-filled Infinity War spoiler. review. Spoiler! Thanks for joining us. We'll have a regular episode soon. We've been really, we've been really busy this week, yeah, so, so expect a new episode pretty soon after this. Pretty soon. And uh, Avengers Assemble. Aloha. Aloha.